Hello and welcome to To Game or Not To Game. So we've got Hero Castle or whatever it's called. Basically an additive tower battle game. And the main problem with this game is the point that I have reached despite having like the super rare equipment that I will uh, show in a clip near the end of the video. And pretty much everything as leveled up as possible. There really just comes a point that it's either locked behind a paywall or pretty much it's just not possible to actually progress without getting exceedingly lucky. So when you start adding everything up, no matter how you do it, no matter what order, in this case, I think I actually just made a mistake and uh, you'll see that here shortly. But instead of just cutting it out and pretending like I'm an expert at the game, uh, I left it in. So I do replay this level and I think I skipped to the part of the show where I did it correctly after I died here momentarily, give or take. But moral of the story is there does come a point in this basically the same level. It continues going and you might see the icy snow monster thing in the background. Pretty much you'll get to that boss and your, your um, total number above the hero's head just couldn't possibly be high enough to beat it so it's kind of ridiculous and i pretty much stopped playing this game ever since i got to this point and i don't really recommend you play it unless you just enjoy getting to a uh lack of closure and the and a very anticlimactic uh point but sure you could just repeat the same level um indefinitely until you get to the point that you either get lucky enough or you just give up and decide to uh, succumb to paying. So again, I got wrecked here or maybe for the first time, who knows. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a game. We had some fun. Here are some of the skills and some of the cool aspects of the game that do have worthwhile into enjoying. Those are some of the equipment uh, that I acquired. And of course, you can always do the typical watch a YouTube video to get some game credit. So now we're jumping to Spire Blast. I think this one is an Apple Arcade game, so you might not be able to play it if you don't have a subscription. But if you happen to um, be a Verizon customer, they do actually give you like six months free or something before charging you five bucks a month. And if you've never used Apple Arcade before, you can probably get three months free just for trying. So if uh, you're looking to play some new games, it's definitely worth a shot for some free options. So the main difficulty here, as you progress the levels, they give you new kinds of blocks, like these ones with the shields on them. I think this might have been the first level I had with them. So I still was experimenting. And most of the levels that are prior to this, you can actually solve and destroy a lot quicker. The primary problem with this is, if you destroy all the blocks and just cause everything to fall over, you won't actually clear the goal that you see listed at the top. So at the end of this video, I do actually have that exact problem just because it's really annoying to uh, slow down the destruction of the tower just for the sole purpose of targeting a particular kind of block. But at the end of the day, if you want to beat the level or at least get... Um, all the stars then you do have to do it uh, both efficiently and while meeting the requirement so as you can see you can obviously spin it around here and there and there's almost like a certain hint of gravity that uh, you'll see the blocks blowing in the wind or just dropping off so that is convenient as opposed to them just always falling straight down and staying there they do have a tendency to lean and just topple over. So this was a successful three-star um, attempt. And I guess level 16 here. You're going to see here in a second, I do go up to the next level. Or maybe... Okay, so yeah, now I'm going to level 17. So, spoiler alert, uh, I do fail. But... That's just because it ended up being a pretty short tower and I just underestimated the amount that there would be. So I didn't replay this level this time just because I was trying to keep it short. And you guys probably get the general idea of this game. Instead of like an additive tower battle game like the last one or your typical tower defense, this one is like tower destruction. And yeah, you might have seen there 
if you hadn't caught on yet. Each of these little shield blocks takes two hits in order to um, kind of destroy or get rid of the shield. So because a lot of my tower blocks uh, fell off, I didn't uh, ultimately clear as needed to um, pass this level. So it was a bummer because I still spent a few minutes on it. But if I were to go back and play this level again, then obviously I would be able to... Um, time it better and make sure my whole tower didn't topple over like you see there because that's that uh basically caused me to fail even though i was doing pretty well anyway uh thanks for tuning in remember to like comment and subscribe